Today I'm going to show you four tricks on how to get around the difficulties you might experience while you're playing octaves, large leaps and unreachable chords. And we're going to focus on small hands. I'm Del Yamara and this is Music on Music Studio, a music channel for those of you who are learning how to play the piano or love listening to beautiful piano music. There are lots of videos here on YouTube of those little kids playing some crazy concert repertoire. And how are they doing it with those tiny little hands? I get asked this question all the time. I think those kids just naturally know how to use their body mechanics correctly. So if they can do that, so can you. So number one, unreachable chords. So let's say we need to play a chord C, G, C, E. I have a very average female hand, so there is no way in the world I can play this chord as one block. But what can you do? Two solutions. You can either break it in two different blocks and play it very fast, and catch it with a pedal so it sounds connected. Or you can roll it, and again, play it with a pedal. But there is a way to play it as one block. And that leads us to number two, note redistribution. It's such a fancy word, but all it means is you just need to change the way notes are shared between the hands. And in this case, let's use a real music example. I'm going to show you Chopin's prelude in A major. And if you cannot reach an octave, the very first measure is going to be difficult for you to play because we have an octave E to E in the left hand and a chord above it. So what can we do? This. Just switch E and B between the hands. And this chord now is very easy to reach. You can see it circled in the music and the same applies to all the other examples circled. So, number three, large leaps. So let's experiment a little. What would be the easiest and fastest way for us to get from point A to point B? And of course I'm talking about our hands. Would it be this way when I'm moving the whole arm? Or this way, this way in motion? I think this one. So what am I doing differently here? I'm just placing my elbow somewhere in the middle between those two points, two, two nodes in our case, and I'm moving my hand this way, so it feels more like a windshield wiper. Uh, and you can do the same thing on the piano. So let's say you have a leap, two octave leap from A to A. What would I do? I just put my elbow in the middle, barely moving. Of course you need to practice it in a slow tempo so that way you know how it feels and you can gradually speed up. And finally number four, octaves. The biggest fear of all musicians with small hands because we're experiencing an enormous amount of tension when we're reaching. But very often the hand is big enough. It's just incorrect playing makes us feel that our hand is very small. So let's experiment again and let's take a look at my hand. So if I open my hand all the way as far as I can, that's it. That's all I can get and I'm feeling incredibly tense. And I know some musicians who can open their hand to the point when they have a completely straight line from one to five. I don't have that. Now, let me relax my hand and open my one and five with the other hand. And here, now I have a perfectly straight line. And I'm not tense at all. So when you're playing an octave on the piano, you need to have the same feeling. You need to feel that your hand is being opened by the keys and you're gently hugging the keys inside of the octave. 
And another point is, if you can't reach an octave, you absolutely do not need to play in the middle of the key. You can play on the edge. As you can see, small hands cannot stop you from playing any kind of rap. As always, if you have questions about your piano practice, please leave them in the comments down below and I'll make sure to answer them in my future videos. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and share it with your friends.